What's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome tutorial where I'll show you how you can use SOLIDWORKS and 3D printing to create awesome models like these two here. For this tutorial, I'm only going to focus on the Mech Warrior. This is going to be the first of two videos. This video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this mech using SOLIDWORKS and 3D printing. Second video, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome Kaju using SOLIDWORKS and 3D printing. So, let's get started on this. So, let's show you the awesome features on this mech. This mech warrior sits at an impressive 26 centimeters tall, featuring a twisting head, 10 points of articulation, and spinny ball thingies. So now that you've seen the model, let's get into our how I made this in SOLIDWORKS. While modeling this, I only used basic SOLIDWORKS techniques, very little surface modeling. And what I decided, because it's going to be pretty much symmetrical, as most mechanical objects are, I only modeled half of it. This allowed the model time to be half, so I don't have to do things twice. If I didn't want anything that was asymmetric, I would then add that in after I've mirrored the entire body within it. As I was modeling this, I did consider making it mechanical and moving, so I had added some basic joints in it. Only once I was ready to 3D print it, I then added in the actual joints.
all the pieces are printed now, uh, it's time to assemble it. Before we get assembling, I just want to explain to you what all this mess is. Basically, this is called support material. Basically, allows you to print complex shapes where, if not, material will just collapse. The idea being that you cannot print on nothing. This stuff breaks off and gets thrown away. Ideally, what you really want is to print without support, as you can see, support kind of leaves the surface area kind of scarred. So you, you try your best to avoid it where you can, but it can't always be avoided in certain models. So the rest of this is going to be done in a time lapse and we'll see you guys at the end of it.
printed it, you've built it. This is what you left off with, a nice little toy. Now, there is some room for improvement, there always is with design. And, um, you know, if this was made bigger, I could add more complex clips, more complex movements. Um, the problem with 3D printing is that you can only go so small before you lose your detail. Hence why it's it's a very basic in terms of the joints. Um, the Ninja Flex material works well to create these joints that are really tight and still work in uh, their articulation and it does stand by itself. Now the reason why I've left this model grey um, and unpainted a single colour is that I would like to inspire you guys to come up with your own creations. You know, I don't want my model to be stuck in your head with a specific color scheme to direct your design. You know, I want you to be able to take your own creative freedom and make it yours, make it your own. So, I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. So, in the comment section below, please let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you've had any experience of creating models like this. And I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And in the next video, I'll be talking about how I made the awesome Kaju. See you guys in the next one.